hello guys welcome to my channel you are watching how to fix pack in this video i am going to show how to resolve the issue if your system is taking too much time to log in and too much time to start up there are multiple reasons behind this error the main reason is behind this error sometime your window is corrupted though so your system is going to take more time there are also multiple options and programs on your windows which run automatically when you restart your system they are set default to start once you log in your system so first you need to make sure that you need to disable all the programs for that go to start menu here then you will see the option task manager option click on this option okay now you will see the startup tab here okay click on the startup these are the programs when you restart your system and the program is automatically opens this means that the program is consuming more rams and the disk on your windows you need to disable that likewise i have disable all the programs which i don't want to install and start the automatically disabling does not mean that this program will not run on your windows disabling means this program will not automatically open when you restart your system and log in again okay now enabling means when you restart your system and re-login this program will automatically run in the background as well as on the screen so this program will take more ram from your windows and hard disk as well so this is going to consume more ram and disk without any reason you need to disable the program okay like this Select the program, right click on it and disable the program like Cortana. I don't want to use it. Just click on disable button. Okay. Disabling does not mean that this program will not run. Like I open the Cortana. Okay. You can see it will run once I click on the program to run. It will not automatically run. Okay. Now you can see all the option I have disabled. You need to choose all the option disabled except this Windows security. This is for security region or purposes. You need to make sure it is enabled only. And if you are using the antivirus, you need to leave it as default and enable. You can choose all the disabled program these like I have done on my system. Okay. Okay. Once you follow this step, your system is going to reboot faster okay now this is the setting we have enabled on the second setting you need to go to here search run data per run okay then type here ms config click on ok button and this is also related to the background application and all these are not the programs click on the boot option here okay you can see then you will see the services option click on this now okay services mean the services many programs and services run default on your system let me show you the services services.msc to open all the services inside your windows now you can see there are almost hundred top plus program which are running by default you can see okay okay with the help of these program you can run your system smoothly and the system provides you the service with the help of these program run inside your windows okay more than almost hundred more than hundred programs are running you can see the status okay so now what we are going to do that we are going to disable the program from the which are not the Microsoft services. Okay. Click on the hide all the Microsoft programs. It means that the third party software will be stopped. Like I have already enabled the this service. You can see the service is already stopped. Okay. Now hide all the Microsoft services means all the programs which are not related to Microsoft are visible here okay you need to disable all the programs click on disable all okay 
all the programs have been disabled then click on apply button and then click on ok and click on restart button you need to restart your system so no harm to your computer after applying these two methods you can try easily these methods and if you are still getting the same issue you need to go to the cmd i am going sometime your window is corrupted that's why you get this error type at sfc space slash scan now this is the best command of windows to repair your windows if you found any corruption inside your windows sfc stands for system file checker okay you need to wait for the process to complete it will go to 100 percent okay now i am going to show you other command let this run open cmd again run as administrator here click on yes now other cmd open type as c h a t s a space slash f space slash r and then hit enter once you hit enter you need to click on y button and then hit enter and restart your system what this command will do this will scan all your hard drives and corruption inside your windows and hard drive this might take one to two hours this is long process but trust me this command is very powerful and it will repair your all the hard drive r4 repairing bad sectors and f4 repairing your corruption inside the hard drive okay so you need to perform these command one by one i'm pressing n now okay you need to wait for the first to perform this command and then you can type the second command which i have told you and if you are still getting the same issue that your system is not booting on a time so you can try reset your pc this will be the last option to you okay click on reset button and hope you are familiar with these options keep my files remove everything you can choose keep my files options here and this process will make your system faster 100 percent local install cloud download you can try a local install if you don't have data and if you have data more than 4 gb you can choose cloud download cloud download would get all the files from the official website of microsoft and local reinstall will uh, reinstall your windows within your device okay click on local reinstall click on next button and this this would take long you can see the process is going to take almost uh, two to three hours to complete this process and your system will be restored to when you fresh install your windows and one thing you can also choose here go to programs and feature at which.cpl okay now uninstall the program which you don't use okay likewise i don't use, likewise i don't use these program you need to uninstall all the programs which you don't use what this program will do after uninstalling it will release the ram and release the cache inside your hard drive as well and your system will be free and make sure your c drive is not full okay like my my c drive is full it should be not be read here now what i can do i have downloaded the iso file open page